Hey, what is going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee, back again today with a, another mobile uh, amplifier. Today we're looking at the Magnum by Palomar. Now this is a four transistor amp. Have not had the lids off of it again, unless there's something wrong with them. I rarely take the lids off, but uh, fairly certain that this one has four 1446 uh, transistors in it. Super nice amp. Um, and this one, it does have, you know, some flaws on it, but as far as uh, functionality, uh, these are super nice amps. Uh, probably my favorite uh, four transistor, four pill amp that Magnum, or that Palomar ever made, rather. Uh, they're the old school Palomars, and the, the whole cabinet is uh, basically a heat sink, as you can see. Um, and it's in a good size, uh, good size cabinet, good size heat sink on it here. And uh, these things are absolutely tough as nails. Um, there are four positions, low, medium, high, and max. Uh, automatic sideband delay, uh, preamp that does function. And uh, there's your sideband delay. You can see it uh, delays kicking on and off there, the, the relay. But uh, these, are, these are awesome amps. Um, absolutely one of my favorites and you don't see a whole lot of them uh, plain and simple and uh, we're going to test it with our galaxy 44 today <clears throat> single final radio does about 35 watts average 38 watts average and about 11 watts peak uh, it's also been done up by gump and uh, we're going to drive it into this thing won't be overdriving it at all uh, probably about what i recommend putting into it would be something like this radio a single final radio you might be able to get by with a dual final, um, you know, something doing 40 watts, 45 watts, something like that. Um, but but I would recommend something like this 44 going into it to, to make it last a long time. Uh, the amp itself draws about 25 amps or so. So I'd recommend if you run it in the house, a, a 30 amp power supply at, at, at least to give you a little bit of headroom on it but uh other than that let's get on with the show here and show you what this thing does uh, we'll start out on average power and low and then we'll just go up 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 and then we'll switch over to uh, peak and we'll uh start on max and, and work our way down so on low average power middle scale 50 watt slug or 500 watt slug i should say hello audio we can put a little bit of dead key into it Hello, now that's average power. Hello, audio, audio, audio. 80 or so, low, go to medium. Hello, 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 over 100. High, hello, 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 audio. Getting closer to 150 average. Hello, and this is max, Oh. You can see getting 25, 26 amps on max. And uh, so what we'll do now, flip our uh, peak kit on. Bird 43 official peak kit. Max power, 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 max power. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, audio, audio. Max power, hello, hello, Palomar, Magnum, Magnum by Palomar, audio test. 450, maybe a shade more. We'll go down to high. Hello, test, 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 audio, audio, audio. Almost 400, medium. Hello, 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 hello. Just shy of 300. And low, audio test, 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 audio, audio, just over 200. Does not get much better than that uh, for what it is. And uh, again, I, I, there's certain amps out there, uh, certain pieces of equipment that I go out of my way to, to tell people how good they are because they're reliable and the performance is good on them. For a four to 500 watt amp, you're not going. You're not going to find anything better than uh, than one of these, um, in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. I know it was a mass-produced amp. Um, it's not something that was custom-made or anything, but that doesn't always mean anything. Uh, these are good, good, good amps, 
and uh, will make somebody uh, a really good amp. Um, and you know what? It's one of these, if it doesn't sell, um, does not bother me a bit to keep it myself. <laughs> and uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Probably going to be some more amps coming up, uh, maybe one a day or so. Um, but uh, this is definitely one of the nicer ones that I have. Uh, the wiring back here on it, this is your negative wire. Uh, this, see, where's our positive at? There's our positive wire. Sorry for the jumbled up wire mess back here, but we've got radio power cord, amp power cord, and uh, two coax jumpers coming out back there. So that's it, guys. If you're interested in it, shoot me a text 423 299 3535. As always, I hope you enjoy the hobby, and uh, I hope everybody uh, does well out there on the band, and hopefully we'll get some conditions soon. Y'all have a good one. See you, bye.